Welcome to The Good, The Bad, and The Tarot. My name is Laura, and this is going to be a mid-May general reading for the sign of Aries. This is for my Aries suns, Aries moons, and Aries risings, and those on the cusp of Aries. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everyone. For the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, I do recommend you come and get a private reading with me. Oops. This reading will cover the energies of the past, present, and future for the sign of Aries for the month of May 2016. The present being the moment that you view this reading. Spirit, what are the messages and energies that you have for the sign of Aries? This is for my Aries suns, Aries moons, and Aries rings, and those on the cusp. I am using the Anna K. Tarot today, for those of you who are wondering. In the recent past, you have the Six of Swords, the Three of Cups reversed, the Lovers, and the Knight of Rods coming up reversed. Lots of uh, different energies playing out here. Okay, so the Knight of Rods is coming up with Justice in Reverse. Going into the present, you have the Eight of Rods reversed. The King of Cups reversed with the Fool in Reverse. The Moon and the Three of Pentacles. Going into the future, you have the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Rods, the Four of Cups reversed, the High Priest, and your outcome is the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, it's going to be a wild ride, Aries. No. All right, Aries, let's take a look at your cards. Just getting these set up here. So in the recent past, you have the Six of Swords here coming up with the Three of Cups in reverse. So I see you healing from something, this would, this would have been last week or so, I see you moving on past um, some difficult times, some troubled times, and I think psychologically moving away, you are moving away from a distressful, troubling situation. With the Three of Cups reversed, this tells me that you may still be surrounded by people that are not supporting you. Um, this can be a group of friends at the workplace, coworkers, it can be uh, even a painful love triangle, or um, it's definitely three people um, with the Three of Cups reverse. This can also mean that there was like some kind of unhappy celebration, or you, fe you feel like people are talking about you behind your back. However, I do see with the lovers that you have a, ma a major decision to make. You might have had a big choice to make. That The lovers talks about a choice that you have to make with your head or your heart. It can also signify that you have a strong, you have a strong soulmate connection. I'm getting more here that while you may not have a supportive environment in terms of your friendships, that um, A, you have a big decision to make in that department, or B, you have a very strong karmic relationship, um, I'd say soulmate relationship um, in your life right now. Aries, I do have the Knight of Rods coming up reverse. This is definitely your energy. I feel like for some of you, you are having to hold back um, or your energy is blocked somehow. Um, this can also signify delayed news arriving or uh, a surprise event that happened that was not entirely positive. However, I very much feel like this is just your energy Coming up with justice reversed, I feel as though you were you suffered an injustice in your recent past. This could have been the effects of a, a divorce, a legal decision that did not go your way, or just some bad luck. Um, I'm having uh, spirits telling me that it has to do with a group of friends or um, a situation involving some kind of negative karma that has come back to haunt you. Just remember that going out and seeking vengeance 
on other people is not going to solve your problem. When you have justice reverse, it's a big indication that you need to be careful and take a step back. Be careful with your actions, be careful with your words. And certainly, um, if you have people that are not supportive around, if, around you, get rid of them. Get rid of them and keep moving in the direction of healing. That is what you need to do. However, I do feel that you have a soul relationship, a karmic relationship here. And this person is um, helping you on your journey. This person is there to support you. Going into the present situation. A lot of stuff going on for you, Aries. So what I'm getting with the Eight of Rods reversed is that some communications are not reaching you. This could be like an email or a message that you did not receive. I do see delays in terms of either travel or messages reaching, reaching you. And um, I'm also getting another energy here with the King of Cups reversed, coming up with the full reversed. This is a man or woman, someone you definitely know. I'd say they could be a water sign, but don't have to be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Coming up in the reverse position, this is someone who is emotionally unavailable for you, to you. That means that they have their back to you and they probably are not going to be open and generous with their feelings for you. Also coming up with the full reverse, this does indicate that this person is acting recklessly, foolishly, or is has a lot of distrust, distrust over some situation. Um, they also may be involved in the fact that these messages are not coming to you or there's a delay in messages coming from this person. Next I have the moon, which does talk about fear, illusion, confusion, and deep emotions. This is a major arcana and falling underneath the lover's card. I feel like you are on a journey this month to find out the truth. And what Spirit wants to tell you is that though your path may not be clear at this time, you need to go deep inside and find that source of strength from within you. You need to have confidence and you need to not let fear kind of rule your emotions. Remember, when we when we put fear out there, we attract fear back to us. So it's important during this time to uh, be very clear and very honest with yourself, but at the same time, do not get lost in, in this idea of, well, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how things are gonna end up. Uh, what if I'm not doing this right? What if I'm supposed to be doing this? What, am I, what if I'm supposed to be doing that? This card is asking you to have faith on your journey. And uh, though you may not see the end of the road right now, uh, please know that you are you are being divinely guided. Also, this says that not everything is all that it seems. Be sure that when you're dealing with people around you that uh, they are, I would be careful with uh, your communications at this time. I would say there's definitely someone around you at this time that maybe doesn't trust you or is acting recklessly or is not emotionally available to you. And I also see that there are delays in communications or travel as well this week, which could be an effect of, uh, an effect of mercury and retrograde. Um, next I have the three of pentacles. Let's just talk about uh, success, sorry, success, success in employment. I also see this as a successful collaboration between you and three other people. This does talk about teamwork and support. I think that you are going to start feeling more supported in your endeavors at the end of this week, going into next week. Aries, going into the future, so this is definitely the next week, uh, week and a half to two weeks, you have the Seven of Cups. So this does talk about having many options. This is you daydreaming and fantasizing. So what is it that you're daydreaming and fantasizing about? It seems as though you have uh, lots of options in front of you. Remember that not all of them are real, so it's, it's important to temper your dreams with reality and, and to continue to live in the present. 
You have the Ten of Rods, the Four of Cups reversed, and the High Priest. I feel very much that in the future, um, Aries, that you are going to be conforming in some way. The High Priest, I'm jumping ahead here, does talk about tradition. Talks about doing things the way they've always been done. It can signify a commitment to a larger organization, such as an employer, as an employer or a boss. But it can also signify belonging to a spiritual organization such as a church um, or a commitment in terms of some kind of relationship. But it does talk about tradition, values, um, doing the right thing. In between the Seven of Cups and the High Priest, you have the Ten of Rods and the Four of Cups reversed. I feel like you're very burdened by some situation um, you feel oppressed, burdened, resentful. Um, you may actually be moving uh, at this time. I do often get the ton of rods for someone who is undergoing a heavy moving situation, like they're moving businesses or they're moving house. But I feel more than anything, this is you under a lot of pressure, you feeling burdened. This could be a lot of people coming at you with requests. So just, you know, be careful, take some time out for yourself. Don't let it get to the point where you feel like you need, you're getting burned out. As I'm seeing here, Four of Cups reversed. This is you withdrawing uh, emotionally from a situation and maybe um, needing to withdraw from an emotional situation very badly uh, for an extended period of, period of time. So I definitely feel like uh, it could be that your work tasks work tasks are draining you emotionally and you feel the need to withdraw and abandon um, a lot of these things. I, I don't get the sense that you are particularly satisfied uh, with things right now. It seems like um, there's a need for you to reconnect emotionally with yourself. Um, I, I feel like you are you're, you're overburdened um, and you're having some trouble maybe breaking out of um, a structured way of living or a structured environment. Your outcome is the Wheel of Fortune, which does talk about change. So change is coming for you in June. I feel that um, your spirit guides are with you and here to tell you that the way things are, they will not be this way forever. Change is coming for you, Aries. And so be prepared when this wheel moves to move with it. Be prepared to get into the flow because change is coming for you in June. Big changes, growth, expansion, luck, and new opportunities. Um, so uh, whatever challenges you're faced this month, please know that they will not always be like this. Things will not always stay the same. Things don't always stay the same. People change. Things change. And you will change as well when it's time. In divine time. Spirit, please show me one guidance card for my Aries this month. Please show me a card that will guide them on their highest spiritual path for the month of May. Please give me a card that will help guide Aries on their journey this month. I'm being guided to pull this card. Observe. So this does resonate with the hangman um, in the Major Arcana. And let me read you the message from the Oracle book here. This is the Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland. This tarot deck, um, or this Oracle deck, um, he is a psychic medium, well-known psychic medium. It says, keywords are Aries, release, surrender, reconsider, patience, cycles, and perspective. A new understanding around matters of the heart is waiting to be revealed to you. Be still and observant. Now is not the time to take action. Instead, take a step back and wait. Reflect upon the relationship or issue. What is really happening? Release the need or desire to direct the relationship and simply go with the course of events. When you surrender to the experience, 
You'll learn a great deal and ultimately get what you truly need. Sometimes it's in releasing that we discover what we really need as opposed to what we think we need. Trust the process, have faith in the journey, and let go of the outcome. Although forward progress may appear to be slow, now is, now is the time for patience. All things come in the appropriate time and cycle. Progress in moving, improving a current relationship or finding a new relationship will happen when the time and energies are right. When you're open and receptive to the needed change, it will happen. During the process of simply observing, you can also gain a new perspective on your situation. How might you think differently about it? Look at your relationship through the eyes of an impartial stranger. What insights might that stranger offer you? Listen to the observations with an open mind and heart. By taking a fresh look, you'll bring in energies of awareness and transformation. Your affirmation, Aries, is, I now take a step back and observe my situation in a new light. And the traditional tarot archetype is the hanged man. So yes, this does resonate with the hanged man. So Aries, now is not the time for action. Now is the time to take a step back and observe your situation with fresh eyes. Eyes of a stranger. How might you improve your current situation? What might that person's advice be to you if they were looking at your situation? So it's important to be impartial here, not to take any drastic measures, and do know that um, in time, things will be changing for you. You have the Wheel of Fortune in your outcome position. So I would say continue moving forward. Continue on the path of healing. Get rid of friends and associates uh, that are not supporting you. Make sure you have the support that you need around you. Um, having good support is important, especially if you're on a journey that has an unknown destination. Do not be afraid of fear. There's nothing to fear here. There is someone around you who is emotionally unavailable to you and is distrustful of your situation. Uh, it may be affecting communications between you two. Just something to be aware of. Don't let yourself get burned out. Take good care to take rest, uh, rest and recuperate. And um, all will be well for you, Aries. I want to thank you for joining me for this general reading. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, I do appreciate your feedback. Leave me a comment. I read all my comments. And stay tuned for the love forecast. I'll be posting those on the last week of this month. So um, those will be your June love forecasts. I hope to see you back for those. And thank you so much for watching, listening, your likes, subscribes, and comments so far. I really do appreciate it. Sending you many blessings, love and light. Take care.